Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Wednesday, February 3rd, 2016, around 7.01 in the morning, Dark in Massachusetts. Going to be cloudy today, later on in the day, heavy rain, high shooting up to the 50s, which is pretty, pretty good this time of year. Normally, in any other year, if we got any precipitation, we would talk about significant snow, but that has not been the case this year up in the Merrimack Valley of Massachusetts and New Hampshire, but sooner or later, the snow is going to get us. It might be next week, but already now they're saying it probably might be too warm for a significant snowstorm, but we'll wait and see. Some news to report. The Toronto Maple Leafs beat the Boston Bruins by a score of 4-3 last night. The Bruins can't win at TD Garden. That's not good. Boston Celtics beat the New York Knicks by the score of 97-89. And today is National Signing Day for college football. The top high school football players decide which college you're going to be committed to to play at. And that's about it on the news. My first video blog subject of the day is a continuation of the top 10 list of everything and anything in honor of Black History Month. This today's video blog will be about the top 10 best African American professional wrestlers of all time. This is a very big list. Great list. Some big names were left off here because it's the best of the best of the best. And here they are, number 10 on the list, this list of the best African American professional wrestlers of all time. Mr. USA Tony Atlas, WWE Hall of Famer. He was a big star in many regional territories. He's famous for winning the WWE Tag Team Championship with Rocky Johnson, The Rock's father. Back in 1983, they were the first African-American WWE Tag Team Champions. Number nine on this list of the top ten best African-American wrestlers of all time. Butch Reed Hacksaw, who was a big star in many regional territories down south, mid-south, and Florida, and Central Stage. He had a forgettable run in the WWE 1986-1987 as the natural Butch Reed as he dyed his hair blonde and managed by the Dr. St Style Slick. He also was part of a tag team called Doom with Ron Simmons. They won the WCW World Tag Team Championship in 1990. Comes in at number nine. Number eight on this list, Ahmed Johnson. Ahmed had a major push in the WWE in 1995, 1996. WWE Intercontinental Champion, part of the Nation of Domination. He was way over, but injuries and working stiff kind of derailed his career. Number seven on this list of the greatest African-American professional wrestlers of all time, the Ugandan giant Kamala, whose real name's James Harris. He's, he wasn't from um, the, um, Uganda. He was actually um, from Mississippi. And Kamala was one of those great character wrestlers who did... Uh, Kamala... Uh, won a couple of titles, USWA, he was known for going in and out of promotions. Sad thing about Kamala, he's confined to a wheelchair, lost both of his legs due to diabetes. Number six on this list of the top ten greatest African American professional wrestlers of all time, the Junkyard Dog, who was a big, big time wrestler in Mid-South. He was the first big African-American superstar wrestler and Bill Watts put the North American Championship on him and the dog drew a lot of money. He had feuds with Michael P.S. Hayes, Paul Orndorff, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase in Mid-South. But when he got to the WWE, he was a shell of his former self. He bulked up big time and he was nicknamed the Junk Food Dog and got a minimal push. And the sad thing about the dunk yard, young, dunk, junkyard dog, he bounced around towards the end of his career. He was unreliable. He passed away in 1998 after attending his daughter's graduation in a car accident. 
Number five on this list of the greatest African-American wrestlers of all time, Ernie the Big Cat Lad. Ernie was the, played professional football for many years. He was the first African-American wrestler to become a major heel. And he feuded with Andre the Giant, Big John Starr, King Kong Bundy. He was going through, through many regional territories. He ev eventually became the booker of Mid-South Wrestling in the 80s. And he eventually became an advisory, advisory committee for the WWE 1995. WWE Hall of Fame had passed away in 2007. Number four on this list of the greatest African-American wrestlers of all time, Ron Sim Simmons, also known as Veruca Saar, also known as Veruca. Ron Simmons was a star in WCW. He was the WCW World Tag Team Championship champions with the natural uh, with Hacksaw Bush Reed as Doom. He was a f he won the WCW World Title in 1992. He also went to the WWE as first as Farouk Hassan and just Farouk, leader of the Nation of Domination. Later formed the APA with. Bradshaw, JBL, won a couple of WWE Tag Team Championships, and he made the Hall of Fame in 2012 in the WWE. His famous quote is, DAMN! Number three on this list of the greatest African-American professional wrestlers of all time, Booker T, who, who first wrestled in a couple of Texas Independents with his brother, um, Stevie Ray. They were the Ebony Experience. They were trained by... Um, Scott Casey and WWE Hall of Famer Ivan Polish Power Putski and eventually went to WCW Harlem Heat won many WCW Tag Team Championships eventually Booker T became a single star winning the t TV title the US title and the WCW World title he went to the um, leader of sports entertainment the WWE and won more titles and eventually he became a Hall of Famer in 2000 13, and he won 35 World Championships! 35, 35, 35! Can you dig it, sucker? And he did the spin a -rooney. Can't do the spin a -rooney, though, right now. Number two on this list are the greatest uh, um, professional wrestlers of African-American descent. Bobo Brazil, who was the first um, um, African- big time African American wrestler. He wrestled in many regional territories in the 40s, 50s, 50s and 60s. He got several shots at the NWA World Title uh, against Buddy Rogers, the Nature Boy. Also, he was wrestled in Detroit. He had a famous feud over the U.S. title with the Sheik and, and he wrestled in the WWE as well and was billed as a hey, U.S. Champion 1994 WWE Hall of Famer. Number one on this list of the greatest African American wrestlers of all time. The most electrifying man in sports entertainment, The Rock. The Rock won many WWE championships and WWE World Tag Team Championships and the Intercontinental title. Plus, he had legendary feuds with Stone Cold Steve Austin, Triple H, and, and others. And he's also an actor. His real name's Dwayne Johnson. He comes back to WWE once in a while. He's the best. And his father is um, Rocky Johnson. His grandfather was High Chief Peter Maivia. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? It doesn't matter what your name is. Uh, and he would say, Julie brought, this is what he would say, Julie brought and shine that high heel real nice. Shine it up for the shundo stuff. And just stick it up straight, you candy ass. Finally, The Rock has come back to Borica. And that's about it on that. I'll be back later, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter with two more video blogs. First video blog will be about the former reality show, Rescue 911, hosted by William Shatner that lasted eight years on the CBS television network. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about former New England Patriots wide receiver, Troy Brown. Keep calm!
on, everybody. And I'm a Julie Brennan guy, Molly Rosenblatt of WCCO Rocks, and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hot, so, so sunny, and she's got nice legs as well. Amy Swemsey's awesome. And Bob Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. And in the words of Dr. Shockey, former principal of BMHS, this action will not be tolerated. And don't forget Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. Questions, comments, concerns, shout-outs, and plugs, send it to me, and it will be shouted out. Bye now.